Body bags will whore lies. Hey, I'm Sam. I'm a Thursday guy for body bags, and this week I'm I'm not doing a well. I guess you could say it was a horror. It's a horror movie, and I guess you could also say it's one of the first parody movies. It's not the first, but it's definitely one of. That being, you think you look at sc uh, scary movie, and that's like yeah, that's like a parody horror movie of like you know uh, scary movies. You know those movies are parodies of actual horror movies, right? I might just have to hold this. I'm just gonna suck a bit, but it's whatever. Um, and don't mind my voice. I'm just a bit sick right now, so I'm gonna have to talk like this, and that's just lovely. Anyway, um, I am reviewing Abbott and Costello Meet the Mummy. So, this isn't the first one. This is, I think, actually was the last one of the Abbott Costello Meets. They did, the very first one, if I'm not mistaken, was Meets Frankenstein, then the next one was Meets the Invisible Man. Then it was Meets Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde. And then Meets the Mummy. The Mummy was the last one. If I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure it was just four movies. It could be five. I don't remember what the fifth one would have been, though. But I know it was those four for sure. Anyway. um, It's funny because uh, when I was younger... I had this uh, VHS player. Now it's now it's my uh, brother's. It's theirs now, and it was it's not like a VHS player. It was like a TV VHS player where it's like this the box TV itself, and then it you know it has the player in it kind of thing. And I would fall not all the time, but I would fall asleep to this movie a lot, and I loved it. It's because before the movie started, it had this Woody Woodpecker short, and that that Woody Woodpecker short was pretty good. I liked it. Um, but then the movie starts, and the movie's just hilarious, and some, not a lot of time later, but say, I don't know, uh, five, ten years later, get this on, uh, not maybe ten, maybe like five, six, or seven kind of thing, right? Get, um, this on Blu-ray and just revisiting, and it was like, this is just the best stuff ever. Maybe not like, you know, oh, super hilarious, but, you know, it's like a lot of silly stuff that's just like... It works out, I think, perfectly. Like, all the silly stuff. Maybe it's over the top. And maybe other people would watch and be like, Oh, you really like that? And it's like, I do. Um, So, well, I haven't even talked about the movie itself. Um, So, you got Abbott and Costello. Abbott is the skinny guy. And Costello's the fat guy. And they're Americans in Egypt. Um, I don't think it says why they're in Egypt. I guess vacation or whatever, right? They're just hanging out. And they need some money and or whatever. And there's this archaeologist that's uh, that's found a mummy, and you know needs help taking it back to the states. And they're they're gonna go help the help the doctor. But when they go to the doctor's house, the doctor is dead, and the mummy is missing. And they find an amulet or whatever. And uh, that's kind of where the movie. That's how the movie starts. But I guess the biggest thing I want to say about the movie is that that scene when they go into the doctor's house. Um, it's basically Costello. He finds the body, the dead body. In one spot, he runs away because, you know, he's always so scared. And, you know, uh, Abbott also gets scared, too. But, like, you, you always see Costello afraid first, you know, and makes him look like, oh, he's such a scaredy cat, right? Um... He sees the dead body, he runs away, he brings Abbott, and, you know, oh, the body's gone, oh, you're crazy, Lou. Um, and then, you know, he goes off, and then he finds it again somewhere else. And it's just, like, the same thing two, three, four times until the last time where the doctor is positioned sitting upward, like, on his, uh, VHS, not VHS, on his, like, cassette player. And his body, his hand just moves out of nowhere, and it starts the player... <coughs> And it's him talking, and Costello thinks that uh, the doctor's alive and talking to him. <laughs> Sorry, I, like, skipped to the very beginning. Right before the two of them go to the house, you, the doctor's alive and he's talking in it. And he gets killed, and he makes, like, this, ah, right before he dies kind of thing. And so, going going back, when Costello's, like, talking to him, 
um, he does the, ah, on the, you know, thing, and his body just falls out of nowhere, it just falls down, it's like, why'd you fall? You're dead! <laughs> it scares Costello, and it's, yeah, it's just great. And then there's, like, a lot of uh, other scenes that are just great, um, I don't want to give all of it away, because if I give all of, it, all of it away, this actually could be the longest video, because, you know, I'm trying to get everything out, but I highly, highly recommend... <coughs> Highly recommend watching this movie. Abbott and Costello meets the mummy. Um, the, and I don't know how the reflection, you know, right. That's the cover of it. Um, I, th I think the ending was pretty funny. <coughs> Almost kind of, uh, it kind of starts how it ends. It's a bit similar how it starts, how it ends. It's a bookend, I guess. Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't know if it's free anywhere. I'm sure you could probably find it somewhere. Or if not, you could buy it probably somewhere. I found this on um, one of my movie hunts. <clears throat> it was like two, three-ish dollars or whatever. I thought it'd be great to get it since I always fell asleep to it all the time. And it's funny. This is a one small funny thing about at least this version of it. It's the Blu-ray version. I don't know yet exactly what a company distributed i guess universal distributed it distributed it but it's um it's funny it's a blu-ray but like it repeats itself over and over again in the movie there's no like actual main menu of the movie it's just the pop-up menu that's like on the side where it's like uh, pause or setup or you know scenes or whatever and it's like there's no actual menu so it's like when the movie ends, it just goes right back to the very beginning. It just skips the main menu. I don't think that there is a main menu. So like if I was falling asleep to the thing from another world on DVD, it's like the, you start the movie and then the movie goes. And when it's done, it goes to the main menu. It loops two or three times and then the movie starts again. This just keeps on going. Just boom, 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 boom over, over again, which actually has kind of proved useful because I've fallen asleep about 11 o'clock. Um, and I would wake up at five, which is perfect because I'm a crazy guy that likes to only get five, six, seven hours of sleep. <laughs> I need it. I know I need to get more. You can see the bags in my under my eyes. Uh, I'm just getting ready for those cruel graveyard shifts. I'll never get them. I'm preparing for something I'm, I'll never get. Oh, that'd be hilarious. But I'm sure later on in life I'll appreciate this now. Hopefully. Anyway, I'm Sam. I'm your thirsty guy for body bags. I did Abbott and Costello meets the mummy. And I'm honestly going to give it like an 8 out of 10. I know at some point I need to like have like a system. Maybe um if I start doing stuff on my own channel, then I'll probably start having like a system on that. And this is just, you know, if I give it an 8 out of 10, it's just because I really like the movie. And if it's a 9 out of 10 or a 10 out of 10, it's just one of my top 5 movies of all time kind of thing. This isn't my top 5, but I would say this is probably my top 50. I never made a list, but it's, it feels like it's that, you know? But yeah, Abby Costello meets the mummy. Have you seen it before? Tell me what you think about it. Did you like it? Did you hate it? Because I know there's always that one guy that hates any kind of movie, or at the very least... You go on IMDb and you look at the reviews. There's always a hater on any movie you go and watch. It's shocking, really. So, uh, yeah, tell me how you think about this movie if you've seen it. And if you have not seen it, go and watch that movie right now if you're able to. I'll see y'all next week.